Welcome to the Crimson Engine. My name is Rubidium. Today we are looking at this guy, the TV Logic F5A. I have an absolute ton of seven inch monitors now. I think about six at last count. That size of display is the one I most like shooting with. Uh, you can judge critical focus. You get a much better sense of the balance and composition of the image. But there are times when you want to run and gun, move fast, um, and you don't really want to compromise on the image. And that's where this guy comes into effect. This is a 5.5 inch or 140 centimeters. It weighs about 420 grams or half a kilo. Um, it's not super thin, made out of aluminum. It comes with a very cool protective um, screen to stop the actual screen itself being scratched. And if you end up trashing this while you're out in the field or you know drop it down a canyon, um, you can always just swap out the plexiglass and the inside will be pristine. It is a 1920 by 1080 display. It's 500 nits, so you have n absolutely no issue seeing it on a bright day without a sun hood. It's not the uh, 3000 nit insanity of uh, TV Logic's seven inch monitor, but it does run off a standard MP battery and you also have a limo tap in the back. It has HDMI in and out on the side. It has SDI in and out on the back and for a lot of people, that's going to be worth the price of admission alone, because if you have a camera that only puts out um, HDMI like a um, DSLR, you can use this monitor to convert that to SDI and send that out to a SDI only monitor or a wireless um, video system and really use it to get your DSLR image into a um, professional con SDI configuration. This thing comes with all the features that are usually missing on DSLRs and even on the C200. It has false color, waveforms, peaking. Um, it has a whole bunch of really great uh, camera LUTs, including C-Log3 and C-Log2 for the C200. It also lets you load in your own LUTs um, via USB at the bottom, um, which I did. And you can see here, I loaded in the Aries LUT, and that means I can actually check my colors and exposure as I'm shooting which uh, is a real help. I particularly like that it has uh, mount points on both sides, um, on the top and on the bottom. Um, it automatically reverses picture when you flip it upside down. And it has three easy little function keys that you can uh, assign to any function that you want so you can get to them really quickly. The false color, like on TV Logic 7 inch monitor, um, lets you adjust the color range. So if you want to put your skin tones at 50 to 60 percent, like I do with uh, C-Log2, then you can put the band at that level and then just know that when everyone's face turns yellow, um, they'll be correctly exposed. The main reason that I use a monitor like this is if I'm going out quickly to run a gun, I don't want to have a V-mount plate. I want to run the camera from its internal battery and I want to run a second monitor um, from a MP battery. This lets me um, work really quickly, uh, climb a mountain, work small, um, but still gives me a really beautiful, bright, color accurate monitor that you don't get um, with the inbuilt three inch monitor on the C200. I bought the C200B. Um, this guy is around $850. You can get them refurbished for about 500. And they're so much brighter, um, so much more usable um, than the monitor that comes with the C200. It doesn't have a touch focus like the inbuilt one um, with the C200, but I've had one of those before and you can't really use the touch focus unless you're on a really solid tripod because as you're touching the screen it moves the camera. That is the F5A from TV Logic, um, a really solid beautiful quality um, five inch monitor for uh, either handheld shoulder mounted work, run and gun applications or anytime you don't want to go all out with a seven inch. Links to these are in the description. Um, leave your questions in the comments and I will see you next time.